fellow ink drinkers, and welcome back to the Blind Girls Book Talk podcast. My name is Aria. And I'm Belle. And we are two legally blind sisters who love reading and love books. And so what we've done is we've created this show in order to talk about that. We talk about a wide variety of bookish content, and that can range from bad retellings of stories, book to movie adaptation comparisons, buddy reads, recent reads, bookish challenges. Really, the list does go on and on. And today, we are going to be talking about The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. So we originally planned for this to be a buddy read, and then things happened. I tried, man. And so Belle did not read the book. I tried. I did try. I I read chapter one, and I said, nope. Yeah. So I was the one who ended up reading it, and I read the whole thing. And I have some thoughts. I know my opinions are probably going to be controversial because a lot of people really love this book. So if this is your favorite and my comments are going to attack you, I don't mean to. Like, it's just not my cup of tea. Okay. In my defense, I like quotes from the book. I had high hopes for the book. I liked a lot of the quotes. And then... I got a chapter in and I couldn't. Yeah. And we're going to go through kind of what I know and my thoughts because I kind of took some notes after I read it just so that way we have something to talk about. So there will be some spoilers. You're warned. And again, I'm sorry that my opinions are probably going to go against yours but I'm not a fan of this book and so looking at my notes I put first I'll admit that I probably read this at a really bad time so I started the book and the next day we found out that a really important mentor in mine and Belle's life had passed away and so reading this book while dealing with kind of all of that and grieving and everything yeah it wasn't a good time but I knew that if I didn't keep going I wasn't going to finish this book so that being said that's definitely not a good time to be reading this book but then my next note is that this is not what I normally read and when I'm not in the mood to read something like this I can get pretty snarky about my comments and I tried to tone my comments down but Belle can attest when I was telling her about this book the snark was real yeah the 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 snark is real and and to be fair this book is far from what Arya and myself technically what we normally read yeah however like I said I saw quotes on it and I really liked the quotes so I thought oh it'll be a good book and see, like, I had only Lies. heard, well, I had only heard bits and pieces about this book, but like the little bit that I heard, I was just kind of like, okay, maybe it's not what I normally go for, but like, this could be interesting. Expand the horizons, try something new. So I was like, why not? And Belle had said she wanted to read it. So of course I was like, why not? You know, might as well. And then it didn't, it didn't go very well. So The things that I liked about this book. First thing I liked was Luke himself. I wish there was more of him and more explanation as to what he was. And I do prefer the ship of Addie with Luke. But I like like supernatural romances. So that could be why. I also liked the concept of this story. I think it's a really intriguing concept. I also liked the idea of the artists painting like the same girl across history and nobody really realizing it and putting it together. I know Henry's one friend, like she tries to and she kind of does, but I think that's really like a cool 
concept or a cool idea. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. You you think the premise of the story, it's kind of different. It's unique. It just wasn't executed in a way to take that to the fullest. Yes. Yes. And especially, like I said, Luke, like I really wish there was more understanding of what he was or kind of more like saying exactly what it was because like they kind of dance around it. And I feel like nobody really knows because it's never explicitly stated. So I wish there was kind of more and like more explanation about him as well. Yeah. See, for me, I couldn't get past chapter one. It was just the writing style. So what I had said to Belle about this before is that this book is written like a wannabe classic. Like, this book is trying really, really hard to be a classic. And it might be years from now. I'm not going to say it might not be. Because some of the quotes and some of the language is really pretty. Like, I'll admit that. But it's just, like, to me, it just, it feels off. Like, there's something off. Yeah, I was kind of the same way. Again, I agree with you. There are some quotes in, in some of the section, like, that I, I've seen that are really pretty and really powerful. As I've stated before, and you might not think it because I co-host podcast, but I'm not a talker. She's not. So for me, words are very powerful because in regular day-to-day -day life, like honestly, you wouldn't really know I'm me because I don't talk much at all. And that's why I have Aria. Aria does pretty much all my talking for me or my best friend, Beth love her <laughs> they they do my talking for me and you know and it's not that I I don't know how to describe it so for me whenever I do speak I tend to choose my words wisely so words have a lot more meaning to me than they do to Aria or Beth right and so like I find some of the quotes really powerful however in reading the story the author's style of writing it's not for me. And I, I'm not saying it's not for everyone because I know my writing style isn't for everyone. Yeah. And like, that's the thing. Like I've read other books by V.E. Schwab and I've liked them, but there, they, there's never been one that's been like my favorite. Actually, I feel like honestly sitting here thinking about it, like, I feel like I've fallen into kind of the same pattern with V.E. Schwab. I like the concept of her stories. It's just, I can't, the closest one I think that I've gotten into is Vicious. And I haven't read Vengeful yet. But that's the one I ended up liking the most. And there have been other ones I've tried to read that it just, it hasn't gone well. So maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just, I don't, vibe with her and like that's okay yeah that's okay because i mean you don't vibe with some of the authors i like you definitely you, don't i don't vibe, vibe with, with most, most of, of the, my authors yeah. yeah go back to uh night circus <laughs> yeah you don't vibe with most of my authors. <laughs> yeah I, I mean there are very few that we can agree on agree on i.e marcus zusak and jane austen that's i think legit it yeah to be honest <laughs> Yeah. At this point, you're probably right. There might be more down the line. Well, uh, can I say this one now? Go ahead. Th Robert Thayer. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we'll talk about this we'll talk, later. We'll, we'll talk about him like in a couple episodes. But anyway, him, you, you like... I liked what I've read so far. So far, yeah. Yes. So, so like three authors that's like a record it is a record no and there'll probably be more because i know there's going to be other ones that i know you've like books that you've read that i want to read like there's not many but there's a couple so yeah. i'm thinking whereas like, there's nothing of yours that i want to read hey, listen i'm so you are a big fantasy person and i can't deal with I'm that a big fantasy supernatural monster i can't <laughs> deal with that <laughs> nonsense yeah i can't like again i i believe i've talked about this drives me up a wall back on topic so the next part in my notes is what i don't know how to classify and so the top bullet point in this is henry himself <laughs> so i liked henry kinda 
he's tragic and I feel bad for him. And I see some of myself in Henry with the confusion on what to do next in his life and oh, everything God. like that. Okay, empath. I also didn't like Henry. <laughs> I don't like the drug use and his relationship to Addie is just normal. Like it's just a normal relationship. That's all it is. And like, there are cute moments. Don't get me wrong, but like, it's just normal. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. So yeah, he is the big thing that I don't, I don't know how to classify. I hadn't gotten that far into the book. <laughs> no, you hadn't. You had. I tried. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, it's just, I don't know how to classify this. Like, I really don't. I don't want to seem like too callous, but at the same time, like I said, there are things that I relate to and there are things that I don't relate to. And it just makes me feel icky. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. And that is that is Henry. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to go to my dislikes. So the things I dislike, I did not like for a bunch of reasons. <laughs> Addie herself, she really made me angry because she's all poor me. But she's the one who made the deal. She made her choice. And like, that's it. Like, <laughs> she I don't know. Like, it just. I don't know why it made me so angry, but it really did. Like, it it took me out of it a lot. Because I was just like, girl, you made the choice to have a deal with a dark god. Like, what more are you expecting? Yeah, that, I mean, that's kind of a pet peeve of mine. Is when... A character makes a decision, like, early on in the book. And, like, okay, if you regret it, you regret it. But, like, don't dwell on it. Like, it's it, it happened. But that's a me thing. I'm a person who I have no regrets. Yeah, and, like, honestly, I'm kind of in that camp mostly. Like, I can understand, like, you need to, like, grieve almost in a way. Like, you need to take some time every so often to, like, feel sad or feel bad or... Yeah, I'm not saying that. Like, yeah. But, like, do that. that that's human and that's healthy. However, don't dwell on it. Yeah, like, all the time. All the time. That's not healthy. That that's just stupid that don't do that yeah okay and then i'm just gonna read this luke made henry for addy then he let henry go i think he does care for her and i hate that addy is now like oh there's new battle lines now she's so caught in the i don't want to belong to anyone that she doesn't see that there's something special with her connection to luke so yes that <laughs> That and ma again, I read a lot of supernatural romances. I've started to read a lot of monster romances. Like I am very much in the camp of the characters realizing that there's something unique going on between them or something special or like that they're in love with each other. And then they're just like, OK, where in this one, Addie's just like, nope, absolutely not. Luke doesn't care for me. He can't care for anyone you la da 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 but like he he did that for her like you know what i mean he he made the deal with henry for her like he gave henry to her and it's like he wouldn't just do that so again that's just me does that make sense I don't know. You lost me. I'm not trying to grasp your train of thought. Your brain has lost me. Uh, where did I lose you? <laughs> I just try to figure that out. <laughs> start from like the middle. Of that, start, start, please. start from the start from the middle. I think that's where you lost me. <laughs> okay. That I think that he cares for Addie. And I don't like that Addie is like there's new battle lines drawn. Oh, okay, us. okay, yes, yes, okay. I'm back on track now. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Okay, that's I okay. I was with you, and then you said one word, and that one word, like I hyperfixated, and then when I tried to get back on track, <laughs> my brain was just like, "What?" <laughs> okay, yes. Again, I really shouldn't say I have an opinion, but I did see like one of the reasons. I got interested in this book was Pinterest. It has a lot of book things. It's lovely. But people posted quotes 
and such. And some people post like the little like tweet comments. I don't know what they're from, but those. Okay. And someone made a comment about how they partially see why everybody is like Henry and Addy. But the person said, but I feel like Luke is a much better choice because all he ever wanted was her. Like he, he didn't want to do like all this other stuff. He just, that's all he wanted was her to love him and for him to love her in return. And that's why Henry came to be Mm -hmm. because it was his, it was Luke's way of being able to give Addie what she wants Mm -hmm. and and to give Addie her, for someone to remember her. Mm -hmm. So like, I see it that way more so than like seeing it that way. I think that's much sweeter. Well, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, and like the fact that like, I guess that Addie's at the end still doesn't see that even a little bit, like even if the author doesn't say it, To at least have the character acknowledge it just a tiny bit. Like, I don't want to say acknowledge it, but do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, to to understand. Like, not to, like, straight out say what I just said, but but to To for the character to realize and to understand something. something. Like, a spark of something. Yes. Because, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, she's so into new battle lines are drawn. I'm going to fight him at every turn. He's going to learn that he doesn't want me. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, how about no? <laughs> like, absolutely not. Like, why Why are you fighting this so hard? I don't understand. And then my last note is that I'm super confused if Henry actually stepped off the roof or not. <laughs> yeah, I was real confused about that. And I don't I can't like, help you with that one. I don't like being confused. And if anybody knows, like, let us know. Like, send send me a message on Instagram. Like, I need to know this, or like, leave a comment on the YouTube video. Like, something. I just need to know <laughs> because I don't understand, and I don't like under not understanding. Yeah, that's kind of frustrating. It is. It very much is. And I'm plot just... Plot holes. <laughs> like, and I don't even think it's a plot hole. I think that it's just... It's Broadway, here I come all over again. <laughs> <laughs> that song. <laughs> if you don't know that song, that, that's a whole other story. That's a whole other story <laughs> for a story. whole other day. But, but I- if anybody knows the song... Arya didn't pick up on something. I listened to the song once and picked up on it. I made a comment to her, and and it fits in this situation. Yes, <laughs> very much so. Yes, listen, like my, the SpongeBob's in my brain are just <laughs> now just. They're now on that song. Yep, they're now on that song. <laughs> that's that's it. And they're they're gone. The SpongeBob's are gone. I can't corral them anymore. But yeah, but final thoughts on this, like. I probably did not read this at a good time. I do not read this kind of thing normally. So this was me trying something new. And there are things that I like about the book. So positives. Positives. (laughs) Looking at the positives. But again, it might just be me. It might just be that I just don't vibe with this author. And that's okay. Like there are some authors that you just don't vibe with you don't gel with like there yeah there are things that i I mean it's in human nature there are things people are going to like and things people aren't going to like and it it, it, at the end of the day it's all individual preference yes It, it is what makes us human so i mean i like i said i don't know really more what else to say about this book because i wanted to like it are you this way as well when there is a popular book and you're like, you know what? I want to like it, too. Like, I want to like this, too. No. Oh. Okay, I, cool. I have a thing. When things really become popular, I don't want to touch it. Like, I don't... I mean, I can get that way as well. Like, I, I really just don't want to touch it and deal with it. It's not something that I'm 100% like, yes. It's more so I'm just like, how about no like not now like wait till like everything dies down a bit and then 
jump into it head first unless i'm there from the beginning if i'm there from the beginning fine there's a reason i've still never read a court of thorns and roses Akatar. <laughs> there's a reason i've still never read that book and i got that book uh, me and Arya are packing up to move out and we've come across that book and she sees my cover of it and she's like what type of cover is this yeah it's not the it's the normal. not the the one you see all the time. Yeah, it's not that one because I got like what it first came out. So <laughs> it's the first cover. Yeah. yeah uh, I have never. I... Yeah, that, that explains so much <laughs> for me. Yeah. And like, that's the thing. Like, I am like Belle in some ways. Like when things get super, super popular, I don't want to touch it sometimes. Like I know like Colleen Hoover is one of those, but also oh, we're not touching that. We've talked about that. Yeah, we've talked about that, but also I'm not interested. But there are other ones where, you know, you see a lot of people talk about it and like you have genuine like buzz about the, the book or it feels really genuine. You know what I mean? And a bunch of people being like, this is really, really good. Like you'll really like this. And then I'm like, okay, I like, I want to like this. And then I don't. And then I'm real sad. Like, yeah, I, I, I get that. I mean, th- uh, that was kind of my thing with this book. I was like, I had a hope. And then I couldn't get past the first chapter. And then my hope died. Yeah. Very quickly. However, my thing is, is that everybody and their mother tries to recommend these books that tear your heart and soul out. And they do not give me adequate warning that this book is going to try to tear my heart and soul out. I do want not want a book to tear my heart and soul out. And Addie LaRue, it tried. It tried. And there was one point in time towards the end that I did. I was like, oh, that's actually really quite sad and really quite tragic. And I'm really quite sad. But then I moved on with my life. <laughs> okay. For, for Pete, she's probably going to edit the whole brain fog moment she just had to get onto that rant she was just on. For, for everybody who's listening to the edited version, because I know she's going to edit. That took like five minutes to get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to get that rant. <laughs> the SpongeBob. <laughs> I was tr- oh my! The fact that it was five minutes to get to that, <laughs> I thought it was something groundbreaking. No, it was just t- you talking about how you don't like feelings because you're an empath. I'm talking about how I don't like being warned that a book is going to try to make me feel feelings. Aria, you're an empath. <laughs> you feel feelings no matter what. <laughs> this is accurate. <laughs> Oh, we, okay. I think this is yeah, a good. I think, uh, this, I think this is a good way to wrap this up because honestly, I don't know what else to say about Addie Larue. I really don't. I don't I, either. I don't. I don't. I tried. You've killed my brain. <laughs> Your Einsteins are shaking their heads, and my SpongeBob's are half of them are trying to run my brain, and the other half of them are still focused on Broadway. Here I come. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good my, time my stomach. <laughs> so that being said we want to thank you for coming along <laughs> as i talked about my feelings about addy larue and bell chimed in because with her she, two cents with her two cents because she didn't read it i tried you did try I, I will give you credit you did try back off jack of course, if you like this episode, if you like what you've been listening to, if you like the commentary, <laughs> please consider following the podcast and sharing the episode with your friends. Those actions would give the show a lot of support and we would appreciate the support of said actions. Would be great. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> what are we what are we talking about next time? <laughs> That's a good question. It deserves um, a good answer. It does. We are going to be talking about unfinished series. I thought we... No, we didn't. We didn't. We did unfinished books. Yes. We're talking about unfinished series. Oh, my goodness. That's a different beast entirely. My head. You've killed my brain tonight. <laughs> Mine, too. I'm so bad. So, we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.